a uh, little too late for Happy New Year. So you came. Welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. Let's waste no time. We're gonna head in and rescue Kasumi. I, I, my, whoops, I guess Maruki's rewriting my cognition. I didn't mean to say that. Rescue Sumire. Sorry, force of habit. Based on the look in your eyes, I'm guessing your friends aren't going to be of any use to us. Um, it depends on whether or not Futaba's uh, treasure reboot decides to trigger. I will always give a catchy sass if given the option. We need as much manpower as possible right now. That is admittedly true, even though he doesn't like any of them. I was hoping at least some of them would avoid being useless. <laughs> But that seems to be beyond their capabilities. I mean, he doesn't hold back with the sass either. Well, there's no point in griping about it out here. Are you ready? As I mentioned yesterday, it's quite likely that we'll have to confront Maruki physically. Even though he said violence isn't his thing? If you're not prepared for such a contingency, then please go and take care of your affairs as quickly as possible. So yeah, right now they are pretty much giving you a stern warning that there is going to be a boss fight coming up. So, we still have no access to the Velvet Room, we're stuck with whatever Personas that we had uh, while we fought Yaldabaoth actually. And I think equipment wise I'm pretty much fine, I can go back to the Helper Knife though for a little bit more magic. Doesn't really matter which of these I use, I'll go for Riot Police. You are allowed to go to the clinic or the airsoft shop, shop, though. So, I actually kind of want to check. I don't think I've ever done this before, so I want to well, check. Yeah, they have new dialogue. Hmm, fine, yeah. I Again, guess. like, I wonder if she's almost out of a job here, because, like, would sickness exist in this reality? Okay, which one? Oh, we can still buy the usual stuff. I think I'm pretty much Take good. Care. I didn't even use any of those revival items that I bought uh, from her last time. And just to show it off, here's the airsoft shop. <laughs> Sheesh. Well, you and me both, Eli. I guess he's definitely, uh, at least subconsciously already rejected this reality. Do I have anything to sell? Oh, I actually do have quite a little bit. You should be grateful. Not as much as I expected, but it's still kind of alright. Okay. Sounds good. And uh, yeah, he is actually Here's selling so. new guns for a Ketchy. In fact, uh, I can right. probably customize a Ketchy's right. gun while I'm here. Look, uh, this ain't exactly my style, but they should upgrade just about the same as the others. Looks the same as most of my guns on the inside. Yeah, I think I'll go mm, for Shock. I mean, you can also buy armor there if you want. How about this? Let's go. Now, let us depart. Excuse me, is uh? Whoa, uh, hey guys. Everyone is here. I think this is a rare moment where you see a cutscene from the Phantom Thieves' perspective without Joker being there. It looks like we've all had the same idea. Are you here to speak with him as well? Uh, kinda. So, he's not here? He left around noon. Said he was meeting up with Akechi. Sojiro said if we need to talk about stuff, we can use this place for a while. Cool. You know... He asked me the other day. Something along the lines of whether or not I'm okay with how things are. At first I didn't know what he was talking about, but as he kept going, his words started making my chest feel all... tight. I know what you mean. And ever since then, it's like... like something isn't right in my heart anymore. I have no complaints about my current life. On the contrary, in fact. I am truly happy with it. So, in that case, 
What is this inkling of a feeling I have deep in my soul? <sighs> ah, damn it. I'm so bad at figuring out this sort of stuff. Hey, do you think maybe we're all running away from something super important? I like that he's the first one to realize. I've been kind of wondering for a while now. Maybe the reason his words hurt so much is because he's right. But I was too scared to admit that for some reason. That's why I pretended I didn't understand what he meant. When I was speaking with him, I felt like I caught a glimpse of this mysterious sight. Something that shouldn't have happened, but still, I felt like I shouldn't turn away from it. Same here. And myself as well. It seems that we really have lost sight of something precious to us after all. That might be. But... But I'm so scared to remember what it is. As I've said, Futapa's easily in the most painful situation, uh, here. If I remember that, I feel like my life as I know it is gonna end. Oh, Futaba. But even still, I don't want to feel this way anymore either. Me too. Guess that's it, huh? He was trying to tell us all something important, and I bet he's probably still working on it somewhere. Ain't no way I'm gonna bail on him just so I can keep running from whatever it is. When I had that strange experience you all mentioned, I saw him and the rest of us there together. I want to believe the connection we share here is a genuine one. Well, I know if we don't do something soon, we're gonna lose our connection with him. Don't ask how I know. It just feels like the truth to me. I admit I am happy right now, but I just can't accept the situation as it is. I'm done with trying to escape my problems. Huh? Oh, I love that shot of this place so much. Well... <laughs> if I must... Alright. And now we can do this whenever we want. Every party member got two showtimes, and now finally Joker is getting his two. At this point, it might be easy to guess uh, who the other one is with. Although, this is jumping the gun a little, but here's a strange thing. If every party member was to get two showtimes, logically speaking, Akechi and Sumire should get one. That would put everybody up to an even two, but for some reason, they don't. There is evidence in the game's code they might have been intended to have Sorry. one at some point in development. Also, by the way, yep, the palace ruler on the security meter is definitely Maruki now. But yeah, it's a bit weird. Yeah, I, I really wish that Akechi and Sumire had a showtime. Ah, uh, she's already considered one of his patients, huh? <laughs> But now we've got an easy shortcut. Though I believe we can still fight things. Let me just check. Yeah, there are still enemies around here and still a safe room. There'd have to be just in case you're not high enough level for what comes next, so that there's always an opportunity to grind a bit. The fact that we still haven't had any Velvet Room access is a little weird though. Does mean you're kind of out of luck if you haven't, um... Haven't, um... If you didn't uh, beat Yaldabaoth with good personas. But at least we've got a little bit more time to enjoy... This... Navigator Akechi. I'm 
getting a warm, tingly feeling from all this power! And there's one of my favourite quotes, and that's really saying something. Let's go! You're nothing without me. A no one would go undefined. You wouldn't exist. You'd never be missed. I tell you, you're out of your mind. How dare you? What a letdown. Pretty sad performance on their part. Okay. A good battle. I felt the need to do that at least once. We've got people even giving seminars here with these giant smiling faces. I do personally really like how the third semester has a focus on on mental health and psychology, but um, if you know me from like my channel, you'll know that I've always had a soft spot for um, for themes like that in media. I'm gonna have a lot more time to talk about that as we go through this palace because this is only the very start. The one thing that I want to talk about here is die for me. Now, see how it still says 40 SP there, even though it's reduced to zero once I cast it. I actually found out while um trying to get Futaba's uh. Treasure Reboot to trigger, that if you have less than 40 SP, okay. it won't let you cast it, even though the trait Excellent. would otherwise Joker. make it free. Joker, there's a chest. So I presume it works the same way as it does with some of the other traits that reduce costs of specific types of skills. The cognitive. Uh, in that it reduces the cost while the spell is being cast, rather than uh, reducing the cost of it in the menu. This means that Spellmaster actually has a slight niche on just die builds, because it means that you'll be able to cast uh, die for me at as long as your SP is 20 or higher instead of 40 or higher. And yeah, that was just a very, very short yeah. discussion, but I wanted to show it anyway because it's probably easy it. to miss. As a side note, my controller is actually on low battery, so because I haven't played carefully. Nocturne in a while, I've been distracted hey. by, uh, uh, you know, Fire Emblem Engage, and so I haven't plugged my, um, my controller into my PC to charge lately. Hmm. So if we get a funny moment where the controller conks out, just like with Morgana in my first playthrough, I guess we'll see. So let's not do this today, speaking of Morgana. Another one of these lectures going on. I think that should be everything in this little area. Well, everything but this. What is Maroki doing with tanned leather inside his ornaments? Hmm. Make sure you're ready, huh? I'm missing a little bit of HP and SP, but I'm going to go into this anyway. Thank you for coming. And thank you for bringing a creepy audience of happy people. She's only sleeping. I've never had any intention of hurting her. Ah, it's a very Cinderella looking chair that she's in too. Once her inner turmoil begins to settle, I'll have her remember her life as she wishes to live it. The life that she wishes for, huh? Call it what you like. You're merely brainwashing people for your own satisfaction. I'm wholly aware that some will interpret my acts that way. But if that self-satisfaction leads to the happiness of thousands of others, don't you agree that outcome is for the best? Yeah, it's that whole ends justify the means kind of thing. I know that for someone like me, I'm at least a little more okay with this than with like some characters because at least Maruki isn't actually killing people. But, uh, there are definitely massive ethical concerns in, uh, in terms of what he's doing. Especially since, in this case, he kinda is killing someone. Because if he makes, uh, her go back to being Kasumi, then Sumire as a personality will cease to exist. If I understand correctly, you went and checked in on your friends this past week. This reality is the one that they all wished for. 
You think that, but we the omniscient audience have realised by now that they actually don't. Did any of them seem troubled by that fact? This reality is the true reality. All you have to do is recognize it as such. Once you do, you'll be just as happy as they are. Didn't you see it yourselves? Your friends don't just want to live these lives. They want you to choose this reality for yourselves and live happily too. Again, I'm not sure they really do. Please, I want you to understand, for their sake, as well as yours. The thing about Maruki that, again, might make him even scarier to some people is that he genuinely does want people to be happy. He's motivated pretty much entirely by altruism. He's just going about it in a very strange way. Again, that's just what he thinks, but we know that to be different. Yeah. They don't quite want to stay. Morgana was the first one that we saw having doubts. And in fact, they all had well, doubts. It's time. <sighs> It'll be as if everything that led to you becoming friends in the first place never happened. For the sake of Yoshizawa-san, and the rest of your friends, I ask you to give me your answer. Yes, this is an ending choice. For now, I am gonna say no. There is a second chance to get this ending that happens much later into the third semester. Uh, no matter when you say you'll accept Maruki's reality, you get the same ending. But I will of course be doing a separate video showing the ending, but one thing I want to stress right now is that according to the developers, accepting this reality is not a bad ending. In fact, you still get the gold trophy you normally get for finishing the story for getting that ending. But, to me, I think it's more in the spirit of the Phantom Thieves to say no. Huh? Negotiations seem to have broken down. And it looks like we may have just freed Lavenza again. I see. It seems we still haven't reached an understanding. No. You're not serious, right? Please, I'm begging you, Senpai. Please, let me live as Kasumi. Uh, I forgot how much of a gut punch that portrait is. It's subtly different, but it just looks, she just looks so depressed here. But why? This pain is too much. Why can't I just leave it behind me? And this is something, I, I like how the story does this. As easy as it is for Joker and the rest of the Phantom Thieves to say no to this reality, for some people, it's definitely not that easy. If you think of it from her perspective, I can understand why she'd want to stay. Kasumi is gone forever, and, and it's all my, all Sumire's fault. Oh my god, this portrait too, wow. I can't live that kind of life. Please, don't try to stop me. If you do, then I'll... How stubborn. No matter what you say to her, I doubt she'll understand. 
I don't think we have a choice in the matter here. I could take care of it for you right now, but you'd prefer her to leave here alive, right? Just hurry up and end this. Don't trust yourself to hold back, huh? Okay then. Please, don't make me do this. She just jumped five levels from this, wow. It's time. Well, right. if she's going all out, I guess we have no choice. All right. Sharp student may actually be useful in this situation to lower her chances of critical in you. Well, how about we turn the tables? Hate to You're do this. Why? Can I just say as well, excellent show don't tell storytelling. The fact that she manifests her thief outfit right there, which actually shows that she is using her will of rebellion against us right now. That's how much she wants to accept Maruki's reality. Looks like you lost. Why? Senpai. No. I can't. I can't go back to being Sumire. You saw it all for yourself, Senpai. It's my own fault that my sisters... Why don't you understand? Please. I beg you. Yoshizawa-san. Mm. I can give you strength, so you don't have to suffer. Doctor... Tell me, if you want your pain to end, and desire to live as Kasumi... I'll actualize it! Sadly, she has lost sight of herself. She's in pain. Now, be her guide, and together, escape from the nightmare! No, I... I can't! I don't want to go back to my life in cinders ever again! What the hell? This so-called kindness of his disgusts me. Let's do this quick. I refuse to go back! 
rescue you the only way I know how it's gone totally berserk we need to stop her persona I'll take that it ate the smaller one what a pain we'll have to beat it before it heals itself again Yes, we've now entered the Nightmare Cannibal Cinderella retelling. This is Berserk Sandrion. Berserk Personas are a concept that hasn't been in the franchise since Persona 3, and I, I love that they're making a comeback here. The evil synthetic organisms are weak to nuclear, and you want to take them Persona. out before she can use them to heal herself. Well, more likely you want to take them out before before she can eat them and heal herself. So let's go Mafredine. Okay, we'll be able to get a baton pass to a catchy off of this too. Berserk Sandrion does have a fairly solid amount of HP though. Okay, let's hit you while you're down. I'm sure Akechi likes that. Okay, good, dead. Now I debilitate. Unfortunately, Akechi's weakness is always under threat in this fight. But she herself does not uh, nullify Bless, so you can repel her Bless attacks right back at her. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and Thermopylae here. During this fight, I'd just like to say something. Can we all just appreciate how amazing Laura Post is doing? Uh, uh, and her Japanese voice actress as well. Um, uh, but, like, she is essentially like, like... Okay, so she has to play not only... Uh, the real Kasumi, Sumire as Kasumi, and the real Sumire. But she's also playing Berserk Sandrion as well. Like, the range on her is completely insane in just this one game alone. Like, I like to consider uh, the real Kasumi, the real Sumire, and Sumire's interpretation of Kasumi as three completely different characters. And, like, she just pulls this off so incredibly well. Okay, you are, your debilitate's wearing off soon. I'm gonna just smack you with one more egg on. Maraki keeps giving her more food, though. Damn it. There's no end to this. Just what the hell is this thing? I refuse to return. I will never go back to being such pathetic, soot-coated garbage! You can't tell. It's her refusal to accept the truth. Also very similar to the Berserk Shadows from Persona 4. A lot of earlier Persona callbacks in this fight. The Byakis are from Persona 2. We can't afford to waste time on this shit! Here it comes! I don't think so! Damn it, Skull. I told you not to rush him by yourself like that. Hey, there's your old voice back! At least it seemed to work out in our favor. Our apologies for making you wait so long. Is that...? Uh, yeah, that's actually a persona you've never seen before. Akechi-kun and Dr. Maruki? Also those two. Yoshi's always trapped by... Why is her persona doing this? Um, uh, C's would know, but they're probably busy right now. What in the world is going on here? <sighs> so much of this shit makes no sense. But we'll cover it later. Yeah, we can talk later about why our therapist has gone crazy. We've got to stop her first, right, Joker? All right, let's get in formation. Cause now it's time for a Phantom Thief reunion. Our first real battle since Yaldabaoth. 
Okay, guys, leave the navigation to me. Let's push him back. Unbelievable. Why did they come here? It's because you were wrong. They didn't accept your reality. Let's go! And there's that attack. Ryuji just tanked like it was nothing before. Come. Don't rush it. So this fight is pretty much exactly the same, but we have more opportunities for baton passes, more people to use. Let's go ahead and take advantage of that, because I think these Biakis could use an Agni Yastra in the face right now. Oh yes, Raging Temper, thank you. Finally, that activates when it's useful. Ah, uh, catchy. See, here's the weird thing with Akechi. Like, Morgana is better offensively than he is right now. I'd rather use Morgana's turn to attack uh, rather than debilitate than have Akechi attack and Morgana debilitate. That being said, I probably do need to use Salvation right about now. I can probably afford to hit you with a uh, Magarodine, though. Okay, Volvo Blade again. Of course, everyone but my healer dodge that. I would very much like to put Thermopylae up, though. The problem is, without the Byakis here, we don't really have much opportunity for uh, one mores, and thus baton pass attacks. Thank you, Raging Temper, though. Raging Temper's really coming in at this fight. Oh, actually, got a crit there, nice. <laughs> Maruki, how dare you cut off Futaba's navigation? It looks like it's working. Just hang in there a little longer. Uh, okay then. Yeah, I can probably actually go back to Joker here. Let's go. I still think this is probably my strongest uh, attack on Joker. Oh wow. Am I seriously going to beat her with this, of all things? Ultimate power. <laughs> this is how I really feel! Oh, thanks! Best present ever! <laughs> I thought the whole point of your arc this third semester was getting over your arm simping, Morgana. Come on! <laughs> that actually did it, wow. I mean, I suppose Morgana does think his relationship with Arn is like a fairy tale. No, my dream won't be. The clock strikes midnight. Yoshizawa-san. You've all... I can't believe you've thrown away your happiness just to come here and... And how? It's impossible. You're... You're Dr. Maruki, right? <sighs> That's right. More importantly, why are... Also more importantly, why is there a weird cat thing here? Mar Maruki has no context on Metaverse Morgana, so this must be pretty weird for him right now. Dude, what the hell's Doc doing inside a palace? Ah, uh, Ryuji, there's really only one reason why that could be the case. He's ruling this palace is what he's doing. What? Not only that, he's the one who's generated this whole distorted reality. Isn't that right, Maruki-san? All of this was done for your own joy. Oh, joy. That's right. I only wanted to grant your wishes. Each and every one. Wait, you what? What do you mean? We never wished for anything like this. Is that really true? Huh? No, never mind. Remember they all had those counseling sessions? Their ideal lives in this reality are very similar to what they were talking about in their therapy sessions with him. So, you all intend to deny the reality I've created for you. If you want to fight me, then so be it. If you plan on changing my heart, that's fine too. But before that, 
I think there's still room for discussion here. Also, I believe taking care of Yoshizawa-san is more important than settling this issue right now. Planning to run again. We can get back to fighting if that's what you really want, but I think you're rather exhausted at the moment. Uh, not really. I think we could go another few rounds. <sighs> but we definitely need to take care of her. That's a good point. Yoshizawa-san! And oh, Ori teleported. There's still time. February 3rd. I'll hear your final decision on the 3rd. And that is the deadline for this palace. We are well and truly into the ticking clock. And also, that's the second chance to get this ending that I alluded to. If your views can't align with mine by then, we'll have no other choice but a physical altercation. As much as I would loathe that, I still can't give up what I've started. Again, he's very much of that. Oh, surely we can come to a peaceful understanding. Well, yes, but actually no. I swore I'd do. On the day I lost everything that mattered to me. I've lost his reading. I want to pursue him, but I doubt that's even possible right now. If even Futaba doesn't know where he is, then we've definitely got a problem. Let's get out of here. Yoshizawa's got to rest anyway. Something interesting about that scene, though. I'm still just as shocked as I was when we first came here. Also, she's become a backpack, but uh, when Maruki, like, when she went berserk, Maruki was telling us to save her. It's interesting. There's a lot of ways you can interpret it. Some people see Maruki as, like, intentionally triggering that berserk uh, thing in her, but for, like, selfish reasons, but he might have been trying to get us... Again, get us to save her. Just like the investigation team would let somebody's shadow go berserk because they knew it was what was best for them in the long run. The navigators return to our devices. The palace is visible in our own reality. Um, does this mean reality's broken right now or something? Yep, that's a good way to put it. Also, I'll say right now, I really like Arn's uh, winter outfit. Something to do with Dr. Maruki, anyway. Yes, Maruki broke reality. That sums it up. Hey, how much do you already know about this stuff? Pretty much just what Akechi knows. So, Dr. Maruki... He altered our reality... to make our dreams come true? This is all too much for me to handle at once. Apologies for the interruption. Mind if I interject? <laughs> Look at that scowl on Ryuji's face right now. That's right! A catchy. There's no reason to be defensive. Had I wished to kill you all, <laughs> I would have simply done so already. Of course, of course he gives this classic line. He's helping for now! So you're not here to fight us? I've already put our feud behind me. Not only that, since he and I both refuse to accept reality as Maruki sees fit to make it, we currently have the same goal. In other words, this is another classic heist movie trope, where the thieves have to team up with one of their former enemies to go up against a common foe. So what you're saying is you're using him. I guess, kind of. It's funny, I was thinking that both the Sly and Ocean's Eleven franchises do that, and they both do it in their third installment, actually. What about the rest of you? I suppose if this is the third semester, you could consider this the third installment of P5. Considering how you were all living your ideal lives in that other reality, until you decided to come here, Maruki seems to be telling the truth about taking your happiness into consideration. While his heart is distorted, he is quite different from the adults whose hearts you've changed so far. That's a great summary. Now that you know his intentions, I'm most interested in learning whether you still plan on fighting him or not. 
Regardless of whether or not you agree with Maruki, at least he's a different kind of distorted adult to with the others in the vanilla game, and that's another thing I like about the third semester. What do you mean? I'm up against someone with the power to distort reality as we know it. The more allies on my side, the better. If we all share the same goal, shouldn't we join forces and improve our odds? So what you're saying is, uh, not sure how you got here. It has to do with Maruki, I think. I'm so sorry. Um, still figuring this place out, but maybe we should team up and do some good- I cannot believe how much that fits a catchy situation right now, actually. <laughs> wow. I'll be going now. Be sure to consider my point. Hey! Hey! I mean, we've got nothing to lose from teaming up with him, really. Jeez. Yoshizawa, are you alright? I... I would say the Sleeping Beauty Awakens, but that's the wrong fairy tale. Oh. Yes. And no more backpack. I'm sorry that I caused you all so much trouble. No, you didn't. See, this is this is why we were doing what we did. It's just because we can't stand to see you hating yourself that much. No, no, you don't need to apologize. We should probably go our separate ways for now and discuss it at a better time. Yeah, tomorrow we can. Oh yeah, third semester's starting up tomorrow, right? Actually, it's started for a while, but yeah. I guess we're going back to school, huh? We do still have to attend school at this point in the game. We still don't have any idea what we want to do from here on out, though. We've got time. Maruki said he'll wait until February 3rd before... Let's really think it over before making our decision. Yo, welcome back. Hmm? I didn't know you guys were out together. Wait, what's wrong, Futaba? <sighs> yeah, this is why I keep saying how f painful Futaba's situation is, because this is the moment where it hits. By doing what we did, Wakaba is dead again. Hey, Sojiro? Is Mom? Mom? You mean Wakaba? Well, what about her? Uh, nah, it's nothing. It's just I happen to remember something about her, that's all. I see. Okay then. You know, I caught myself thinking about her earlier too. <laughs> Odd coincidence, huh? <gasps> well, I'm gonna head home for the night. How about you, Futaba? Mm. I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. See? Don't stay out too late, alright? The place is all yours. You've got school tomorrow too, so get to bed at a reasonable time. Oh, don't worry, Morgana's a cat again, which means we can finally do that. Also means he's allowed in our bed again. Mom really is gone again. Sojiro sees it that way too now. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you what happened before we came to rescue you. We all ended up here at the same time after you left for Odaiba. What was that? Wait, you're... What the? And so, Human Morgana was never seen again. Goodbye, Bryce Papenbrook's brief stint voicing a major character in this game. You will be missed. I'm... Oh yeah, that's right. Why were you human, Mona? Yeah, you're supposed to be a cat. I am not a... Oh wait, yeah, I guess I am a cat. Character development! How did we never realize? You know, we've got more important things to do than sit around here and figure out what happened to us. 
That's right! You said he was headed to Odaiba, correct? And with Akechi-kun? We need to find them! Once we got to Odaiba, we spotted the palace. You know how the rest goes. You were fighting this whole time, weren't you? While I was just bumming around town without a care. I'm sorry. Deep down, I always suspected something strange was happening. Something wrong. That being with my mom was so much fun, I just... I stopped trying to figure it out. Uh, but I've totally snapped out of it thanks to you. I'm all good now. Yep, no worries. I'm fine. What? School's tomorrow, right? You better not stay up late. You might end up oversleeping. Someone please hug her now. We've all been through too much today. Let's try to get some sleep. Can we loan Morgana to her for the night? Because I think she needs it. <laughs> hey, wait! <sighs> yep. Finally, we're in the group chat again. You know, Arn, you should maybe try and check on Shiho and see how things are now. Yep, definitely time to go to bed, and because Morgana's lying down, it means we're not allowed to do anything in LeBlanc. So, with that... Hey, hey. I think I'll see you all next time, as we enter the 25 days until Maruki acts. And also... Find out what Lavenza's been doing as all of this has been going on. See you all then.